Hello, drummers. I'm Greg Bissonette, and I want to welcome you to this new DVD where we're combining two videos I did a while back, Private Lesson and Playing, Reading, and Soloing with the Band. We've titled this Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow because we're bringing back these videos, putting them digitally on DVD from yesterday, today. We've got new lessons about jazz and how to tune your drums. And tomorrow, because I'm so heavily involved with Drum Channel, you can ask me questions. And we'll talk about everything on these DVDs, everything that, that you want to talk about. I had a degree in music education from North Texas State, and I love to impart things about vocabulary and styles, being the most well-rounded drummer you can be to drummers out there. We're going to talk about a lot of different aspects of playing the drum set different styles of playing the drum set. For instance, different types of rock, different types of Latin, different styles of swing, playing with brushes, double bass, playing an, a drum solo, for instance, an open drum solo without music, how to play over a vamp with music or tape. And we'll talk about the most important aspect I feel about playing drums is just keeping good time and playing with a real good groove and a lot of conviction. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to do is to follow along with this chart. One, two, three. Six more. I'm gonna talk a little bit about tuning your drums. Now watch what happens when I put my first finger in the middle of the snare drum here, and I'm gonna... When, I, when there's no finger there, you can't tell it as well, but when you put your finger in the middle, it sort of enables you to hear each tension rod separately. I'd like to start off with playing quarter notes on the ride cymbal, because no matter what anybody tells you, the most important part of playing jazz is the ride cymbal. That's what yesterday, today, and tomorrow is all about. I hope you enjoy this, and thanks so much for getting it and checking it out.